Welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast, where we interview experts in various fields with the goal of empowering women to make informed decisions about their health, life, and family. I'm your host, Amy Jane Smith, and I would like to thank you for tuning in today to get comfy while I introduce our next guest. Hello and welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast. My name is Amy and I'm your host and today I would like to talk to you about returning to exercise after having a baby. Now this could be something that you did before you got pregnant or you exercised while you were pregnant or you might not have exercised before and you're kind of thinking about getting into it now after you've had a baby because your body's changed, you might want to just strengthen things up or to say the word that we don't like to say here, and that is get your body back. But I know a lot of women do think about that once they've had a baby and it might be something you're thinking about. So I wanted to touch on five tips today. And these are my top five. There are others. And if you wanted to share tips below, please do. And before we get going, I would love it if you could give this video a like or subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when I release new content, which is every two weeks. So let's get into it. Number one. And now, hopefully, if you are watching this and you know me, you have done the Holistic Chorus or Bump program. That does get you prepared for having a healthy pregnancy, having a healthy birth, and having a successful um, or a less stressful and more manageable fourth trimester. So there is that. However, one thing that you really, really need to do is wait until your six week check checkup. Now, this is why I kind of mentioned the Holistic Core Store Bump program, because yes, you will want to connect to your pelvic floor. You will want to be able to do your Kegels and make sure that everything is working down there in that way. And you need to be able to move your baby and carry your baby and do all of these things that you didn't do before. Some of you might even have a toddler to contend with as well. So there are all sorts of things that you will need to do as a mom, as a new mom or a mom of a new baby that you may not have thought about before. And waiting until six weeks is not going to happen. Like you need to do that from day one. So the Holistic Core Restore Bump program does prepare you for that. It gives you the tools. It helps you to connect to your pelvic floor, learn how to lift and move baby and paraphernalia safely and with a bit more ease. So there is that side of things first. And if you don't know how to do those, get in touch and we can sort something out. We can go through some things. But really, the six week checkup, I never, ever, ever not go for your six week checkup. So what they will do is, yes, they will check the baby, but they will check you as well. So they'll check any incisions. So if you had um, a C-section, you had tearing, you had an episiotomy, they will check that they're healing okay. They want to check that there's no, it doesn't look inflamed. They want to check that it's all coming together quite nicely. There's no signs of infection, things like that. Um, they will also, some places are different and I will get a midwife in very shortly to just answer these questions as well, but they'll check things like um, discharge, what your discharge is like when the bleeding stopped, um, if you've had a period yet, some people might, it might have stopped and then started like a period, all of those things, they might ask you about your milk and, and they'll also weigh the baby, measure the baby, and check things like that. And what they normally do is they'll say, yep, yeah, tick, okay, everything's healing okay, you can carry on, you can return to what you were doing beforehand. Some people, now that statement 
return to what you were doing, return to exercise. Yes, you can go and exercise is so broad. It is huge because exercise could be anything from walking or cycling to CrossFit and MMA fighting. It could be, it could be anything. You could be doing parkour at the weekend. And so it's got, that advice has got to be taken with a pinch of salt. And what is ideal is to just know where your body's at and ease yourself into it. So if you've got any pain, like any back issues, you're leaking when you return to exercise, things like that, then or your scars tugging, just just take your time and go and see somebody first, which moves me on to step two. So point number two is please go and see a women's health physiotherapist or they're also called pelvic floor physiotherapist or physical therapist depending on what country you're in and what they can do is they will check you internally and i highly recommend you see somebody who does an internal checkup you've had a baby your legs have been up in the air for various things up until having this baby i think one less checkup down there internally isn't going to break the bank physically and financially i suppose but yeah it is it is so valuable because what they can do they can check internally and some muscles can be a bit tight like anything say if you've got a bad back it might be that something's a bit tight and something's a bit loose and it's a bit imbalanced they can check the muscles of the pelvis and just see how things are. They might release something. They will check as well how well you can contract the muscles, whether you can squeeze and lift, whether you, how well you can relax or how quickly you can relax. And they can also check bearing down actions and things like that. So they can grade you and give you some good tips and advice. They can also check if, um, so during pregnancy, by the end of pregnancy, you will have a gap down your midline of your tummy. It's called a diastasis recti. They can check that. They can give you advice based on that. And they can also check any prolapse symptoms that might be there. So they, they really check a lot and they can give you some great advice and great tips. And they can also give you exercises or refer you out to a pre postnatal fitness specialist, somebody like me, who can then build a program to help you exercise safely and within those constraints and help you then rehab and get ready to conquer the world. Okay, so that is step two. Step three. Now, if you have already been going to a gym, hopefully that gym has been aware that you are pregnant for a start and you've spoken to them about that and they have helped you with that they haven't just gone yeah okay you can't do this this and this they've kind of worked with you with your pregnancy so you've had a healthy functional pregnancy um they yeah if you haven't been to the gym and you're thinking right i want to go start f45 or something like that please talk to your trainer um a lot of a lot of um what is it called pre-screen forms a lot of pre-screen forms they will have a question have you recently had a baby like in the last six weeks or i can't remember what the time is excuse the the beanie in the background they um yeah, there'll be a box that have you recently had a baby and you tick yes and they might go, oh, OK. What? So do you want to lose your mummy tummy? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Oh, yes, yes, I want to I want to lose my mummy tummy. I want to fit back into my size eight jeans or whatever it is. And that's kind of it. And it's a bit scary. Um, I want to tell you a story. Actually, I had a client. This was a couple of years ago when I 
when I first started in the holistic core restore space, it was one of my earlier clients and she had had a baby. I think the baby was, he was over a year old and she was going to a boot camp. She was seeing a personal trainer and the personal trainer said, okay, you want to strengthen your core? Here are all these traditional core exercises. And I asked her because she came to see me to help with her diastasis and to heal that. She, um, I asked her, I said, do you do planks at the gym? She's like, yeah. Do you do sit-ups? Yeah. Do you do bicycles? Yeah. And my eyes, as, as, I'm, as I'm sitting there, I'm trying to be poker face, but my eyes are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and my eyebrows are getting higher and higher and higher. And she looks at me and she's like, should I not be doing that? And I said, no, no, not, not yet, not yet. And here is why. Please get on the bed and perform a couple of reps of bicycles and I'm going to film you and show you what happens to your tummy when you do bicycles. And she got on the bed and I filmed her and the moment she lifted her leg, she got doming. It went poof, poof, poof. And I will um, attach a picture, a video of that as well. So you see how it just went for those of you who have got, who have got that video, who can watch it on YouTube. Can you see how it just went boop, boop, boop and domed? That's because of a mismanagement of pressure and her trainer didn't know anything like that. I mean, when I first started as a PT, I didn't know. I went, okay, you want to strengthen your core? It's sit-ups, it's Russian twists, it's bicycles, it's crunches, it's planks, it's all of those things. And that, that causes so much pressure in your tummy that it can make a diastasis worse. It can lead to hernias, it could lead to incontinence, it can lead to prolapse or back issues. So please talk to your trainer, tell them, even if it's a male trainer, tell them that you have a diastasis, tell them that you leak when you do certain exercises, if that's what happens. Tell them you have a prolapse that feels worse when you do X, Y, Z exercises. Tell them, tell them, tell them. And because that's how I got into this field, because I had a client who told me about a diastasis, I checked it. She went, yeah, feel, feel it. It's weird. And my hand went whoop, straight into her tummy and holy moly, 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 that changed the direction of my career and life because I knew there and then that it's not something that baby personal trainers are taught and it's something that we all should know. So if, if you tell your trainer and they don't really get what you're talking about or they still just give you all of those exercises that I've listed and you're noticing doming, you're noticing back pain, you're noticing incontinence, please cancel your membership and find somebody else who can train you. Or if you can't cancel your membership, pause it, do something, but see somebody who is going to help you connect to your core and your pelvic floor, alleviate symptoms, rebuild that foundation so that you can eventually go and do those kinds of exercises. But it's, it's a layered process. You can't just expect to go straight back. It's got to be a process. Okay. So just a note there, if you notice that when you are doing any exercise like that and you're holding your breath, ask your trainer for a regression as well. Again, if they can't give you one, find a new trainer. And with that note, I have got a Holistic Core Restore Diastasis program, Prolapse Recovery program as well as my BOMP program. And I've also got the Every Woman, which will help you to connect and start building that foundation. But if you do need that special care for diastasis or prolapse, then it's bespoke to you and it's 
will really, really help so much. I'll post a video here about, um, it was five or six sessions later, how my client improved with her bicycles. You can see the difference, right? First one was poof, poof. Second one, it was a little bit, but she had so much more control and she knew that she could do a couple of reps. As soon as she could feel anything, she would regress it down to heel slides or something else. But before then, she couldn't even lift her leg off the floor without that doming happening. So it's not the end of the world if you can't do bicycles or sit-ups just yet. Just build up to it, okay? So that's down off my soapbox for that. It is a huge topic. I could go on for hours. So if you want to know more, please just contact me. Just book a 30 minute call and we can have a chat and go through some stuff. The next thing. So I, I kind of touched on it. You've got to build the foundation. You've got to get in touch with your body. You've got to take your time. That is number four. You have to take your time. You have to be patient. Your body has just birthed a child, a human being. Your body has grown this child. It has taken the nutrients from your body to give to the baby. It has gone through so much stuff, amazing stuff, amazing work to get this baby into the world. And you don't want to just punish it for that and say oh, oh i'm so fat now oh look at this look what you did you ruined my body don't do that your body is amazing your body is amazing it is wonderful it is miraculous and having a baby while it is a normal natural thing to happen a lot of things can happen in that process and it's not it's not a daily activity. It's not like breathing is a normal, natural activity. It's, it's a big trauma. And if you've had any interventions as well, that is huge. And the body's going, oh my goodness, what's going on? Because it's grown this baby over nine months and then it's gone Phew! and it's empty. The uterus has to shrink back steadily. The body has to kind of get get used to things again and all of this takes time and patience just be kind to yourself all you can do is eat well drink plenty of water and by eat well i mean not diet food eat real food real fruits real vegetables lean protein and just nourish your body nourish your mind sleep when you can and be kind to your body and it will be kind to you and find someone again who can help you connect and help you build that strong foundation and just take that time for a bit of TLC for yourself and your body will thank you for it. No rush, no rush. It is all fine. You are awesome. We've got this. Yeah. Which then leads me on to number six, not six, there's five. Leads me on to number five. And that is find a holistic core store coach. Because as I've mentioned throughout this podcast, there is something for everybody. And I personally, and I know the other coaches are all connected to physios. They can refer you out if need be. And we have such a huge network of people who really care about the women we treat, really care about what we do. And the goal is to just help you to get in touch with your body, your mind, your way of living, and just empower you to just be so strong, believe in yourself and believe that what your body is capable of, it's not broken. It could feel broken at the time, but it's not broken. It is wonderful. And what you can do 
is book a 30 minute call. It's completely free and you can pick my brains. You can just ask me whatever you'd like to do. Um, you can write some notes down. I send you a pre-screen form, which is so much more in depth than the little, have you just had a baby? It goes through how you've had the baby, how long ago, whether you have prolapse or core issues or incontinence issues, any symptoms, you tick a box, you write notes, and we have a discussion. And I can see from that pre-screen form exactly what would be right for you, whether it is my course, and normally it is the every woman course, but depending on how well you respond to coaching and cueing in the call depends on where I direct you. It could be that course. It could be one of the bespoke courses. It could be that I send you away and see a woman's health physio and go through that more clinical route to start with. So let me know what you think please comment below and again share this video share this video with anybody who has just had a baby who is thinking about exercise and who doesn't know where to go i am more than happy to talk and answer questions and just give you advice as needed that's what this podcast is for that's what the 30 minute free calls are for and then if we fit, if we feel like we're the right fit together, it's going to be the right time for you and you're ready to truly look after your body and look after yourself, then send me a message and book an appointment and we'll book in for coaching. So that is it from me. As always, please subscribe to this channel and I will see you for the next episode of the Women's Wellness Podcast. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Women's Wellness Podcast. For links and show notes, please visit www.connecthealth.fitness forward slash podcast. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we release our next episode and please share with anyone who you think might benefit. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon.